if you want to see how I make this super cheesy, extra flavorful, meaty, deep dish style pizza from scratch, then keep on watching. So while I'm measuring my flour, just go ahead and tap the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can be a part of the Q Culture community because we are getting started in three, two, one. Let us introduce our ingredients. We have our packet of Rapid Rise Instant Yeast. We have half a teaspoon of sugar and one teaspoon of kosher salt. 3 tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and our flavor combo of 1 quarter teaspoon each of dried basil and oregano and 1 quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. We also have 3 cups of flour that we have separated into 2 cups and then 1 cup. We separate because we don't know if we'll need the third full cup. So the first step is to dump our extra virgin olive oil into our warm water one cup of warm water I just dump everything into the bowl except for the third cup of flour but feel free to mix all of your dry ingredients and then put in your wet ingredients but you'll see me just dump it in also you could use your stand mixer or a wooden spoon but I prefer to use my hands so I can feel how the dough is coming together so you'll see me just dump everything in and then I start to use my hands to just bring the wet over into the dry. So as the mixture comes together, you would just sprinkle in more of the third cup of flour until it becomes the consistency that you want to see. And the consistency that you want to see is the sides of the bowl coming clean. So the more flour you add, the more your dough is going to become one full ball. You'll know your ball is really great when the sides and the bottoms of your bowl comes clean. You don't have to overdo this step because you can always add more flour when you need the dough. This recipe could be used for a homeschool, couples night, family night, date night anything that you could think of this recipe would be good for to get your hands in everybody could have a good time making pizzas and once the sides of the bowl are clean you can dump your dough out onto a floured surface once it's on your floured surface you're gonna need it for about three minutes and then you'll know your dough is ready when it has that springy action. When you poke it, it springs back. When you tap it, it kind of goes right back to its position. Brush the insides of your bowl with your leftover extra virgin olive oil or spray it with nonstick cooking spray. Place your dough ball inside and cover with a dry paper towel or a clean dry towel. Preheat your oven to 500 and get the rest of your toppings and ingredients together. Once the dough has risen, you could cut it in half for two 12 inch pizzas or smaller for personal pan pizzas. You could also double or triple this recipe. But for my pizza dough, I'm going to make a deep dish. So I put cornmeal in my pan and then I dump my dough out onto my cornmeal and deflate the dough with my fingers. Then I dust it with flour and then use my hands to press the dough from the center outward towards the perimeter of my pan. The flavor of this crust is so good with the garlic powder and the oregano and basil. It's so good. It's like eating your pizza on garlic bread. Once my dough is pressed flatly, and evenly into my pan I use my fork 
to poke around the perimeter to create my crust. I then use my fork to poke the entire center of the crust to prevent bubbles during cooking. I coat my crust with garlic butter. The recipe will be in the description. Then I use one big spoon scoop of sauce and then I spread it evenly around. Less sauce is best because you don't want your toppings to slide off. The recipe for this will also be in the description box. I wanted to keep the video as short as I could. And this sauce was created from garden tomatoes from my very own container garden outside of my house. I'm super excited about that. And you guys feel free to use whatever pizza sauce you see fit. You can use tomato paste, tomato puree. You can use whatever tomato base you want. Once the pizza is completely covered with the sauce, I use a thin layer of mozzarella and Monterey Jack cheese so that my pepperonis stick to my pizza really well. Then I double up on my pepperoni, add much more cheese, and then more pepperoni on top of the cheese. And then I just dust it lightly with dried parsley flakes for beauty. So this pizza takes about 10 to 12 minutes to bake at 500. Always check the bottom of your crust to make sure it's fully cooked. And then you can cut it in the pan or you can lay it out on your surface and cut it. This pizza is kid approved and grown up approved. You could seriously have this restaurant quality pizza in about the same amount of time it takes to wait for the pizza man to deliver it to your house. Get in the kitchen, get your family, get your boo, and let's get this pizza on the table. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you share it with a friend, and make sure you remember that life is too short to short yourself on life. Live blessed. I love y'all.